everyone welcome to pediatrics by dr anand this is the unacademy neat pg platform and today's topic of choice is nothing but pediatric cardiology and the subtopic of choice is nothing but tetralogy of phallet one of the very important questions which we must understand for the exam purpose and thank you so much for showing all the love and support we have a huge amount of students who are following us and studying pediatrics in a very very wonderful way so my <clears throat> name is dr anand i am md pediatrics from sr from lady harding medical college and humira medical college and this is the an academy neat pg platform first of all a wonderful congratulations to all the amazing fmg december 2021 toppers every single person has done really 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 wonderful hard work and they deserve to be here so aaj bari hai ab aage aane wale time mein bari hai hamare amazing students like hamid deepak osama vaidhi and raghuvansh i want all these amazing students who are working hard their names to be there on the further top class list <clears throat> and also on the an academy for the newcomers we have something known as plus subscription something known as iconic subscription in the plus subscription of an academy you get the access of all the amazing live and recorded classes you get to study from the best of the best educators all over the india and you get to participate in various live test and quizzes see these live test and quizzes are very very important for example we have this free calendar free test calendar everyone who is a newcomer must download an academy and we have this free test calendar medical pg prep where every weekend and every alternate day we have this amazing amazing test which you must give which you must give without fail i would say okay and also we have the iconic subscription in the iconic subscription you get the an academy platform and also at the same time you get the prep ladder subscription also all the clinical notes video lectures question bank rapid revision and treasure notes so your access to the best from the two of the best that is the iconic subscription so that was about the you know kind of a plus subscription and the iconic subscription so as a mbbs student sometime it is difficult to buy a big pack this is the small code if you want to use it will be little helpful for you financially if you use this code for your medical pg prep and also we have already made this wonderful focus fmg 2022 batch and target neat pg 2022 batch which is going mind blowing okay hello nishi agrawal hello dr savan hello tanu good evening everyone a beautiful good evening to all of you this session will be spoken in english and hindi language aaj ke session mein hum tetralogy of phallet ke bare mein baat karenge and also for the newcomers we have this another 10 lakhs rupees 10 lakh rupees reward from a pool of 10 lakhs basically neat pg mega combat we have this another mcq test coming like i always tell everyone <clears throat> to participate as much as possible in these you know kind of um, mcqs it will be helpful it will be very very helpful for all of you top rankers to win up to 100% of scholarship questions for medicine dermatology psychiatry anesthesia and radiology you know so video based questions image based question and 50 lucky participants will get a 5000 voucher rupees and up to 10 lakhs we can earn it's just forget about earning it is just a 60 minutes test 45 questions will be given you have to give your best shot i think uh, that's all uh, that's all you should do january 23rd and what you called 11 am that's it january 23rd that's what this only is a big surprise which is awaiting for you this time we hope you get lucky because yesterday in the last uh, you know this uh, uh, pg contest so many people had participated so you know so jan 23 and 11 am you have to enroll prior for the free entry okay <clears throat> this is the neat pg combat so let's start the mind blowing episode of game of thrones no not game of thrones this is the mind blowing episode of pediatrics by dr anand and today's topic is tetralogy of of phallet before starting any amazing segment we always have this amazing beautiful quote and today's quote is don't be a beggar of love don't be a beggar of love be a donor of love don't be a beggar of love be a donor of love you know love is something number 1 which is very very unconditional you know there was there, there was a saying i was reading if you love someone if you love someone with an expectation that the other person will love you back if you love someone with an expectation that the other person will love you back then you are not doing love that is known as business you are doing business if you are loving someone <clears throat> and expecting the other person will love you back that is not known as love 
that's known as business on and that's really bad so don't be a beggar of love that give me love give me love give me love be yourself be amazing be calm be composed everything will fall into place accordingly don't really you know get panic so don't be a beggar of love be a donor of love and you know they say you know that beautiful people are not always good beautiful people are not always good but good people are always beautiful this is the amazing quote of the evening i hope you something goes inside your head and <coughs> today's topic of choice is nothing but tetralogy of palette now tetralogy of palette is one of the important topics where we have lot of questions on tetralogy of palette today we gonna unfold this topic in a very in a very different manner this tetralogy of palette okay yes exactly sandhu is right surat se sirat nazar nahi aati so that's how life is right <clears throat> number 1 what are the components so let's participate i want your best positive vibration for this class have a little smile on your face have a little chilled out you know comfort in your mind and let's just talk about it let's just learn about this beautiful topic the topic is tetralogy of phalad this class will be spoken exactly for 40 minutes so let's finish this topic han ji very good savan is already jumping with answers what are the components of tetralogy of phalad remember we say it top <coughs> or we say it tetralogy remember by speaking we say <coughs> tetralogy but but the real meaning is tetralogy hi rachna hello everyone give your best shot in this segment in the tetralogy of phalad so savan is already answering what are the components of tetralogy of phalad number 1 there is a large vst now listen very carefully ek ek shabd ka mayna hai number 1 what are the components of tetralogy of phalad number 1 there is a large there is a large vst number 1 number 2 there is right ventricular outflow tract obstruction yes or no nothing but i can say pulmonary stenosis yes or no so right ventricular outflow tract obstruction number 1 large vsd number 2 and can we appreciate that i am making the arrow on the vsd from right to left yes or no yes exactly nishi is already answering very good normally vsd is left to right but in this case it is right to left naturally it is right to left so <clears throat> yes exactly the other components are right ventricular hypertrophy and overriding of aorta these are the four beautiful components of tetralogy of phalad the name is tetralogy of phalad but by spelling it is tetralogy like pentalogy but we say pentology tetralogy but the spelling is tetralogy and pentalogy okay these are the four amazing components of uh, tof large vsd right ventricular outflow tract obstruction right ventricular hypertrophy also and overriding of aorta aorta is little anteriorly placed or little overriding is there of the aorta then i assume that this much we understand as robin time pe aaya robin khatri kya baat टाइम पे आए वाश कल तुम 50 मिनट लेट आए थे है ना शादी में गए थे तुम अपनी हाँ जी वेरी गुड दीज आर द कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ टेट्रोलॉजी ऑफ फैलेट नाउ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली रिमेंबर द राइट वेंट्रिकुलर हाइपरट्रोफी द राइट वेंट्रिकुलर हाइपरट्रोफी इज जनरली सेकेंडरी टू राइट वेंट्रिकुलर आउटफ्लो ट्रैक्ट ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन second the right this right ventricular hypertrophy is secondary to the right ventricular outflow tract obstruction when there is a right ventricular outflow tract obstruction there is a right ventricular hypertrophy okay and there are some changes also i'll tell you one by one now just let's try to conceptualize your mind here and there okay very good now yes very easy question in top the pg entrance question number 1 which is the most common synotic congenital heart disease beyond infancy who will answer this question पैनकेक हाँ जी पैनकेक भी आ गई बहुत बढ़िया पैनकेक क्या हाल है पैनकेक कैसे हो क्या चल रहा है लाइफ में तुम आती हो तो बस मुझे बातें करने का मन करता है मुझे लगता है पढ़ाई छोड़ो बस बातें करो बैठ के बिकॉज इतने प्यारे प्यारे कमेंट्स आने शुरू हो जाते हैं यू नो यस द मोस्ट कॉमन साइनोटिक कंजेनेटल हार्ट डिजीज बियॉन्ड इन्फेंसी इज नथिंग बट टेट्रोलॉजी ऑफ फैलेट विच इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कंजेनेटल हार्ट डिजीज इन फुल कार्डियोलॉजी हु विल आंसर दैट विच इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कंजेनेटल हार्ट डिजीज यस एग्जैक्टली the most common congenital heart disease in full cardiology will be nothing but ventricular septal defect yes or no robin khatri very good bahut badhiya bahut badhiya hmm udhar gogar sir pe bhi pancake 
अच्छा ठीक है डन वेरी गुड परफेक्ट दीज टू क्वेश्चन आई एज्यूम दैट दीज टू क्वेश्चन यू गाइज नो द मोस्ट कॉमन साइनोटिक कंजेनेटल हार्ट बियॉन्ड इन फेंसी स्टॉप एंड मोस्ट कॉमन मोस्ट कॉमन कंजेनेटल हार्ट डिजीज इन कार्डियोलॉजी से वी एस टी नेक्स्ट विच इज द मोस्ट कॉमन ए साइनोटिक कंजेनेटल हार्ट डिजीज इन कार्डियोलॉजी एनी वन विच इज द मोस्ट कॉमन ए साइनोटिक कंजेनेटल हार्ट डिजीज इन कार्डियोलॉजी अगेन द मोस्ट कॉमन ए साइनोटिक कंजेनेटल हार्ट इन कार्डियोलॉजी इज अगेन वी एस डी एक्जैक्टली येस एंड विच इज द मोस्ट कॉमन ए साइनोटिक कंजेनेटल हार्ट डिजीज इन कार्डियोलॉजी ऑन डे वन ऑफ लाइफ एंड बियॉन्ड इन फेंसी आई वुड से साइनोटिक द मोस्ट कॉमन साइनोटिक कंजेनेटल हार्ट द मोस्ट कॉमन साइनोटिक कंजेनेटल हार्ट डिजीज एट डे वन ऑफ लाइफ वी नो दैट इट इज टी जी ए अदरवाइज इट इज टेट्रोलॉजी ऑफ फैलेट टी जी ए और टेट्रोलॉजी ऑफ फैलेट डन सो फाइव एम सी क्यूज इन नेक्स्ट इन दीज फाइव मिनट वी हैव फिनिश फाइव एम सी क्यूज आई एज्यूम दैट यू नो दीज फाइव एम सी क्यूज ओके नाउ we all know that this also is very easy we have trilogy tetralogy pentalogy can anyone make me revise very very fast what is trilogy of fallet the trilogy of fallet the mnemonic is rap the mnemonic is rap r for anyone r for right ventricular hypertrophy yes or no r for right ventricular hypertrophy a for anyone a for atrial septal defect yes or no and p for p for pulmonary stenosis so right ventricular hypertrophy with atrial septal defect with pulmonary stenosis exactly <clears throat> yes pancake these are nothing but the trilogy of fallet and tetralogy of fallet already i have told you in tetralogy of fallet there is right ventricular hypertrophy in tetralogy of fallet there is pulmonary stenosis in tetralogy of fallet there is ventricular septal defect and tetralogy of fallet there is overriding of aorta right very good and all the components of tof plus a uh, atrial septal defect the components of tetralogy of fallet all the all the four components plus a uh, atrial septal defect that will be known as pentalogy of fallet yes or no because see there are a lot of newcomers also always participating in the class so it's my duty to revise revise and revise until you die i have to revise yes all the components of tetralogy of fallet like uh, this rvh with ps with vsd with overriding of aorta plus a uh, atrial septal defect <clears throat> is nothing but pentalogy of fallet i assume this much we can understand in this class done next okay ab aa jao aage ab aa jao kehte na ab so baat ki ek baat let's see now let's discuss the mcqs tetralogy of fallet occurs in how much percents of the all congenital heart disease what do you think guys now tell me the answers osama sheik <clears throat> my dear dear what's up friend so hanji tetralogy of fallet occurs in how much percent of congenital heart disease kitne pratishat bhartiya ye samajhte hain ki tetralogy of fallet kitne pratishat bachcho mein hota hoga 20% 30% 90% 100% how much percent so anand who is already answering like not me anand there is another one more guy his name is anand so the answer for this question is nothing but 5 to 10% 5 to 10 percent. Remember, tetralogy of fallet occurs in 5 to 10 percent of all congenital heart disease, and survival beyond infancy is about in 75 percent. That is the first point. So, सोचने वाली बात है, रटना कुछ भी नहीं है. According to Nelson, tetralogy of fallet occurs in around 5 to 10 percent of all the congenital hearts, और जिनमें होता है 75 percent basically they have the survival basically beyond infancy is seen in about 75 percent of. So I want you guys to update in your note as much as possible. So very good, Mayur, very good answer. Raghuansh, Aishwarya, Vaidhi, Rashi, Savan, Hamid, Robin, Deepak, very good, very good. Next, yeah, this is a very good question again. The VSD which I told you, the VSD which I told you. What are the various types of VSD? Anyone? At least two important types you can tell me, right? We have perimembranous type of VSD, and which was the other type of VSD? We have muscular type of VSD. Yes or no? Very good. Yes. <clears throat> Sandhu, sir, your reel was really good yesterday. Don't worry. Today I'll shave properly and come, and today also I'll make a nice reel. Don't worry. Well, तो बहुत जल्दी हमने ऐसे ही बना लिया अनन्या और मैंने my niece is Every day I have this thing that uh, one reel per day definitely I'm gonna make without fail. The best answer to this question is nothing but large perimembranous VSD. Very important. Remember, large perimembranous VSD is the type of VSD 
we see in a case of ventricular septal defect okay you remember right we had we had perimembranous type of vsd we had muscular type of vsd various types of vsd we had and the most common one was the perimembranous 80 percent cases right perimembranous vsd you no know, kind of a was common right very good so in the uh, what you call in tetralogy of fallot the vsd we see is the large perimembranous type of vsd done i hope you have got it so we are studying cardiology topic of choice is pediatric cardiology tetralogy of fallot anji <clears throat> exactly next question name the congenital heart disease where reversal of shunt in the natural history of course does not take place very good question very good question again that's an exam question name the congenital heart disease like the number one it's a congenital heart uh, where reversal okay where reversal of shunt in the natural history of course does not takes place what's the answer for this question dr savan yes tetralogy of fallot in tetralogy of fallot there is already a pulmonary stenosis in tetralogy of fallot the vsd is already a right to left shunt so this is a congenital heart disease where reversal of shunt in the natural history of course reversal of shunt in the natural history of course doesn't play doesn't take place if i ask you name some congenital heart where reversal of shunt can happen what will you answer name some congenital heart disease where reversal of shunt reversal of what is the meaning of reversal of shunt reversal of shunt means a shunt which was left to right becomes right to left and that is known as eisenmingerization or reversal of shunt or eisenminger syndrome right so can you name some congenital heart disease where reversal of shunt takes place okay hanji exactly the top method is already reversed but in which congenital heart there will be a reversal of shunt the answer is ventricular septal defect the answer is patent ductus arteriosus yes or no in a case of v a very good nishi agarwal is very very right so vsd and pga ventricular septal defect and patent ductus arteriosus are the best congenital hearts where there is the shunt is left to right then we have pulmonary artery you know kind of a atresia leading to pulmonary stenosis if you want i'll write it the shunt which in the big in the vsd and pda the shunt will be left to right yes or no <clears throat> Tab kya hoga again? there'll be pulmonary atresia then slowly slowly there will be pulmonary stenosis then slowly slowly there will be pulmonary artery hypertension and the shunt which was left to right becomes right to left so we can understand that in VSD and PDA, you see a reversal of shunt or you see eisenmingerization, whereas in tetralogy of fallot, you don't see any reversal of shunt, you don't see any eisenmingerization because the shunt which is there in the ventricular septal defect is that the flow of the blood is from right to left. So you can't see a reversal of shunt because naturally only VSD is right to left in a case of tetralogy of fallot. Has everyone understood this much? Please put a like button or a heart button or a chit chat button if you have understood this much. We have covered around 12 to 15 MCQs of the associated topic of ventricular septal defect. So, I am going to Pancake, Savan, Osama, Tanu, Rachna, Bohot Sare, Bache, Idr, Dorke, Robin Kadri. So, I am going to say that I am going to say Pancake. तुम दिल्ली कभी आओ पैनकेक को पैनकेक लेकर ही आना तुम्हारा सिर्फ नाम ही पैनकेक है थैंक यू राशि थैंक यू दैट्स वेरी स्वीट ऑफ यू लेट्स मूव फर्दर ओके गुड ओके नाउ वी आर एंटरिंग इन लिटिल नेक्स्ट क्वालिटी ऑफ सेगमेंट नाउ द क्वेश्चंस ऑफ टेट्रोलॉजी ऑफ फैलेड नाउ विल नॉट बी इजी पीजी दे विल बी लिटिल नेक्स्ट लेवल क्वेश्चंस नाउ नाउ एज आई टोल्ड यू in tetralogy of fallot there is right ventricular outflow tract obstruction right nothing but kind of a pulmonary stenosis right so my question is right ventricular outflow tract obstruction is most frequently in the form of what hanji so the options are the right ventricular outflow tract see right now think okay think everyone think nicely please the right ventricular outflow tract obstruction is most frequently in the form of what is it in the form of infundibular stenosis is it in the form of like at the pulmonary valve level level or the combination of two so what do you think anyone if what which now this is a super speciality question so what do you think which option is right right ventricular outflow tract obstruction is most frequently in the form of what anyone <clears throat> pancake hanji very good that's right 
चलेगा ए बी सी ओके मिक्स क्वेश्चन कुड बी इधर बोथ येस एंड पैनकेक ने बड़ा बड़ा लिखा हुआ इनफंडिबुलर बार बार इनफंडिबुलर द पैनकेक इज राइटिंग तो रिमेंबर द बेस्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज इनफंडिबुलर पार्ट इनफंडिबुलर वेर इज द इनफंडिबुलम वेट वन सेकेंड आई जस्ट शो यू देर इज समथिंग नोन एज इनफंडिबुलम नाउ लिसन वेरी केयरफुली वट इज इनफंडिबुलम इनफंडिबुलम इज ऑल्सो नोन एज कोनस आर्टीरियोसिस इन द पलमरी आर्टरी लाइक आई शो यू दिस पार्ट now this you know see this very carefully pulmonary valve can you see this one now see this this is the right ventricle right this is the right ventricle right ventricle opens into pulmonary artery yes or no so right ventricle is opening into the into the pulmonary artery yes or no can we see that the blue color which i have made the diagram now this part this part is the conus arteriosus please remember i'm putting a blue color mark a this one this part this part is known as conus arteriosus or nothing but infundibulum remember number 1 at least see photographic memory okay in front in the right i am asking the right ventricular outflow tract obstruction is at the which level so the answer is the right ventricular obstruction is most frequently in the form of infundibular stenosis there is a part called infundibulum which is nothing but also known as conus arteriosus there the stenosis is there there the issue is there there the congenital defect of the obstruction is there so the best answer to this question is nothing but 45% cases we see that the right ventricular outflow tract obstruction is most frequently in the form of infundibulum ka stenosis second most common is the combination nothing but at the infundibular level or at the whole pulmonary valve level so please remember guys 45% 30% and 10% this is what we need to know okay very good very good Ex exactly samajh mein aa gaya itna has everyone understood this much this is another another level of question that in the tetralogy of fallet where you see this uh, right ventricular outflow tract obstruction where is it is it at the infundibular level or is it at the pulmonary valve level so the answer is exactly the, it is at the infundibular level and remember infundibulum is also known as conus arteriosus conus arteriosus is a conical pouch formed from the upper and level, nothing but it is a conical pouch that's all you should know the infundibular infundibulum it is also known as a conus arteriosus so the name itself is saying conus conus means conical it's like a conical pouch basically and where is it i have shown you a very good picture this one here is the conical this one done exactly very good perfect let's move further okay next important question tetralogy of fallet is it a oligemic lung field condition or a plethoric lung field condition तो क्या आंसर करेंगे इसका आप हाँ जी ओके ओके कुछ हाँ रॉबिन खत्री से सर आज आप रनिंग आ, नहीं जा रहे क्यों नहीं जा रहा दुनिया इधर की उधर हो जा रनिंग तो मैं जाऊंगा ही जाऊंगा डेफिनेटली जाऊंगा सवा छः साढ़े छः सिक्स ओ क्लॉक आई टेक द टिल सिक्स ओ क्लॉक आई टेक द क्लास आई टेक अ गुड हॉट वाटर बाथ एंड देन आई गो फॉर रनिंग आई हेयर माई फेवरेट शॉर्ट्स एंड देन आई डायरेक्टली गो टू भगवान महावीर हॉस्पिटल लाइक दिस हॉस्पिटल नियर हाउस एंड दे आर फाइव सिक्स किलोमीटर आई डू friend is also coming and uh, today we have to go to gym also exactly very good osama sheik is right so tetralogy of fallet a very beautiful picture can we appreciate a boot shape heart yes or no like the jo pancake hamesha jo hai wo uh, yahan pe dalti hai like a boot shape heart and aaj hamare osama ne bhi dala hua hai boot shape heart yes or no so tetralogy of fallet is a, a boot uh, oligemic lung field condition for the newcomers uh, uh, again remember like there is something known as oligemic lung condition and plethoric lung condition oligemic is nothing but decrease pulmonary blood flow yes or no the oligemic lung fields means decrease pulmonary blood flow and plethoric means increase increase pulmonary blood flow so decrease pulmonary blood flow is oligemic and increase pulmonary blood flow is plethoric lung fields and as in tetralogy of fallet there is pulmonary stenosis so the blood from the pulmonary artery is not able to go to the lungs and that is why that leads to a decreased pulmonary blood flow condition and nothing but oligemic lung done yes or no exactly very good anji gyms are not closer gym bro uh, uh, open park gym open park gym mellow rocking is asking as a new name mellow rocking 
uh, we have an open park gym in our societies and nearby houses in Pitampura in Delhi. It's open. Done. And remember one thing. The, uh, why do you say a boot shape? Now, another a very important exam question. That why? What was the name of the boot shape? Why it was given a boot shape heart? A hypoplastic main pulmonary artery segment contributes to the formation of the boot shape heart. Or in French, we say coir in support okay so why in this tetralogy of phallet in this four components that i told you there's a pulmonary stenosis so kind of a, the whole pulmonary artery becomes hypoplastic yes or no because there is right ventricular outflow tract obstruction and pulmonary stenosis so that whole area right a hypoplastic main pulmonary artery segment contributes to the formation of a boot shape and that is why because of this only you have this boot shape heart that's another exam question why there is a boot shape heart what is the reason because of the hypoplastic main pulmonary artery segment then very good and that's known as coir in support very good mellow rocking very good next question and also same thing only a concave main pulmonary artery segment that only is given a boot shape heart so just hypoplastic pulmonary artery segment is giving a boot shape heart now very 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 important question now this is another level question you know is there a cardiac enlargement in tetralogy of phallet or there is no cardiac enlargement in tetralogy of phallet haan ji let's see class ka time badwa do kyon kyon badwa do class ka kyon shaadi mein aaye ho tum kyon nahi 40 50 minute bahut hoti hai class do do ghante class se karni hai tumko kya karna hai kyon badhana hai class ka time क्लास का टाइम 5:15 एक अभी है और शाम को होगा हमारा 8:30 क्योंकि मेरे को शाम को यार फिर जिम जाना होता है या तो मुझे रनिंग करनी होती है मुझे अच्छे से बॉडी बनानी है मेरे सिक्स पैक्स आ चुके हैं एक्चुअली मेरे एट पैक्स आ चुके हैं तो आई नीड टू आई आई मस्ट मेक अ वेरी गुड बॉडी ओके हाँ जी ओके सर आर की वजह से होता है बूट शेप मेरे नोट्स में लिखा है ओके रोबिन खत्री लेकिन नेल्सन के हिसाब से बताऊँगा आगे नेल्सन के हिसाब से आगे बताऊँगा सो is there a cardiac enlargement so the answer is most importantly there is no cardiac enlargement robin khatri bhagwan ke liye apne notes ko thoda sa hilaye dulaye theek hai ab sawal thoda aage aata hai hmm okay theek hai kya dikhaun acha kya acha abhi tum abhi dikha raha hu main tumko ye kapde opde sab hai na let's let's inko tyag dete hain aur bas हाँ जी क्या टेट्रोलॉजी ऑफ फैलेट डू यू सी कार्डिक एनलार्जमेंट इन टेट्रोलॉजी ऑफ फैलेट नो वाई क्यों सर इतना बड़ा बड़ा आपने लिखा है राइट right वेंट्रिकुलर हाइपरट्रोफी इतना बड़ा बड़ा आप बता रहे हो कैसे दिल का शेप हाउ कम अ हार्ट विल नॉट बी एनलार्ज बिकॉज डियर प्लीज रिमेंबर इन द टेट्रोलॉजी ऑफ फैलेट देर इज कंसेंट्रिक राइट वेंट्रिकुलर हाइपर ट्रोफी ड्यू टू पालमोनरिस्टिनोसिस remember there is right ventricular hypertrophy there should be enlargement cardiac enlargement but this right ventricular hypertrophy is concentric right ventricular hypertrophy please guys remember we have two types of hypertrophy one is concentric hypertrophy and eccentric hypertrophy what is the meaning of that sir see in concentric hypertrophy there is pressure overload the hypertrophy is there because of the pressure overload whereas in the eccentric hypertrophy there is volume overload volume overload okay no problem brother mai bhi to waise keh raha robin mai kuch nahi keh raha mere bhai ha samajh mein aa gaya now please remember dear that there is no cardiac enlargement in tetralogy of phallet why because there is concentric hypertrophy in uh, in tetralogy of phallet wo kya hota hai sir sir what is concentric there are two types of hypertrophy concentric hypertrophy and eccentric hypertrophy in concentric hypertrophy basically it is because of pressure overload pressure overload and e centric is because of volume overload volume overload so now in tetralogic se concentric concentric means that there is a hypertrophic growth of the hollow organ without overall enlargement like there is a there is can you see in this picture yes or no photographic memory because of pressure overload for example you see in chronic hypertension or aortic stenosis because of pressure overload there will be hypertrophy but there will be like kind of a concentric hypertrophy means overall enlargement will not takes place but the growth the organ the growth of the organ will you know have will be hypertrophied so concentric means that there is 
हाइपरट्रोफिट ग्रोथ ऑफ दी होलो ऑर्गन विदाउट ओवरऑल एनलार्जमेंट पूरा हार्ट का एनलार्ज नहीं होगा ओवरऑल उतने का उतना ही रहेगा अंदर की मसल बढ़ रही है देर इज अ हाइपरट्रोफिट ग्रोथ हाइपरट्रोफी मतलब इंक्रीज इन साइज राइट ऑफ दी होलो ऑर्गन सो एंड दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली प्रेशर ओवरलोड सो दैट द बेस्ट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट आंसर दैट इन द टेट्रोलॉजी ऑफ फैलेट देर इज नो कार्डिक एनलार्जमेंट एज देर इज कंसेंट्रिक हाइपर ट्रोफी क्या इतना समझ में आ रहा है आपको हैज एवरी वन अंडरस्टूड दिस मच प्लीज पुट अ लाइक बटन थर्टी मिनट्स थर्टी मिनट्स आर ओवर एंड ओनली टेन मिनट्स आर लेफ्ट देन आई एम गोइंग टू जिम एंड वेर आर यू गोइंग यू टेल हैव टू मोर आर्ट लेट सी हाँ जी समझ में आ गया डॉक्टर एंड कैफीन एम आई लेट नो 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 यू आर नॉट लेट नो नो यू आर ओनली थर्टी मिनट्स लेफ्ट ओनली हाफ टॉफ इज ओवर ओनली हाफ इज लेफ्ट यू आर वेरी अर्ली शुड गो बैक एंड कम आफ्टर हाफ एन आवर ओके श्वेता लोहिया काइंडली रिपीट द लास्ट लाइन येस डियर रिमेंबर वन थिंग डियर डू यू सी कार्डिक एनलार्जमेंट इन टेट्रोलॉजी ऑफ फैलेट द आंसर इज दैट देर इज नो कार्डिक एनलार्जमेंट देर इज कंसेंट्रिक हाइपरट्रोफी कंसेंट्रिक राइट वेंडिकुलर हाइपरट्रोफी सी वी हैव अ टेट्रोलॉजी ऑफ फैलेट फोर कॉम्पोनेंट्स वी हैव अ राइट वेंटिकुलर हाइपरट्रोफ पी आर वी एच विच इज द कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ टेट्रोलॉजी ऑफ फैलेट बट दिस हाइपरट्रोफी विच इज देयर इट इज कंसेंट्रिक हाइपरट्रोफी नॉट ई सेंट्रिक इन कंसेंट्रिक हाइपरट्रोफी रिमेंबर द ओवरऑल एनलार्जमेंट विल नॉट हैपन देयर विल नॉट बी ओवरऑल एनलार्जमेंट ऑफ द ऑर्गन देन वेयर इज द वॉट हैपन्स there is hypertrophied growth of the organ there is a hypertrophied growth of the organ without overall enlargement nothing in short words nothing in short words there is something known as concentric hypertrophy and eccentric hypertrophy in the tetralogy of fallet there is concentric hypertrophy concentric means there is a pressure overload that shunt no that vhd is there so which is the right to left shunt and rvh is there so because of this there is a pressure overload and that leads to concentric hypertrophy if there was a volume overload then there was a proper you know hypertrophy of the organ so just one thing you should know exactly you should know that in tetralogy of fallet there is concentric hypertrophy of the heart then ओके संधू सेज सर अपलोड मोर डांस वीडियोस ऑन द आईजी यस डेफिनेटली आज एक्चुअली वो डांस मेरी रानी वाले पे तो हमने कर लिया अभी और देखते हैं आज करता हूँ कुछ द टाइम ही नहीं है यार आई हैव टू गो फॉर शेव आल्सो आई एम नॉट गेटिंग टाइम लाइक यू नो माय लाइफ लाइक सो आई शुड से सो बिजी बट माई लाइफ इज़ वेरी कैलकुलेटिव एवरी आर इज काउंटिंग नाइन टू फोर आई वॉज एट जॉब फाइव ओ क्लॉक शार्प आई केम बैक होम फाइव फाइव माई मॉम वेट दिस बिग कैरेट जूस Five fifteen, I'm having this class till six six fifteen, and we will study. Then I'll take bath and go for a five kilometer run, one way going and coming. I'll come back eight o'clock, eight thirty again. We have a class nine thirty class. We'll get over nine forty five. I'll have dinner. Then I'll take my dog outside for this one. Where shave करने का भी time नहीं है, shaving का भी time नहीं. That's a good lifestyle. Yes, dear. Thank you. That's why I'm having this kind of supernatural uh, Superman, Spider Man body, I guess. हाँ जी नाउ प्लीज कैन वी मूव फर्दर प्लीज लेट्स फिनिश दिस टॉपिक इन अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल वे गाइस थैंक यू ब्रदर हामिद माय डियर थैंक यू द फ्लो फ्रॉम द राइट वेंट्रिकल इनटू द पल्मोनरी आर्टरी अकर्स अक्रॉस द पल्मोनरी स्टिनोसिस प्रोड्यूसिंग अ इजेक्शन सिस्टोलिक मामा a very very important point you see the ejection systolic murmur basically why because from the right ventricle whatever that little blood which is trying to flow into the pulmonary artery across the stenosis pulmonary stenosis which is like 90% blocked and only 5 10% is open so pulmonary stenosis so there you see a ejection systolic murmur ejection systolic murmur okay that you should know okay hmm. okay done also at the same time remember the more severe the more severe is the pulmonary stenosis the less flow will be there in the pulmonary artery yes or no the more severe will be the pulmonary stenosis the less flow will be there in the pulmonary artery and then yeah that's where that you should know remember one thing and also remember what is the severity i have a question what is the severity of stenosis is it directly or indirectly proportional to the severity of pulmonary stenosis matlab my question is jitna zyada pulmonary stenosis hoga utna stenosis zyada hoga bacche ko ki utna kam hoga the more the pulmonary stenosis is there will the baby will have more stenosis 
or the baby will have less cyanosis anyone exactly very good it is directly proportional so more the pulmonary stenosis is there more the blood will not able to go to the lungs so more the cyanosis so more severe the pulmonary stenosis more the patient will have cyanosis it is directly proportional very good vanilla anand savan mona lisa very good means everyone is totally focusedly uh, you know uh, nicely you are listening to me very good that is the one point okay now next what happens to s1 s2 and p2 what happens to s1 ab khud apna dimag lagao s1 is the first hard sound s2 is the second hard sound s1 is because of the closing of the tricuspid and mitral wall what happens to s1 is this normal or not normal is the s1 normal or not normal acha robin khatri boot shape is due to concave pulmonary artery and coherence about is basically the lvh which is upward turned cardiac effect okay impressive संधू सर आपकी स्टूडेंट लाइफ में सब कैसे मैनेज होता है सब हो जाता है डियर सब हो जाता है यू you नो know, मैं पहले मैं डांस क्लास जाता था डांस क्लास में ना वहाँ एक चीज़ लिखी होती थी ये लिखा होता था करने से करने से होगा बस ये लिखा होता था करने से होगा तो इफ़ यू हैव अ पैशन टू टीच एवरी वन विल टीच इफ़ यू हैव अ पैशन टू नाइसली बैलेंस योर लाइफ यू विल बैलेंस तो हो जाएगा करने से होगा okay yes the s1 will be normal that's the best answer pancake is right s1 will be normal very good okay what happens to s2 s2 may you have p2 and a2 yes or no and almost there is a pulmonary stenosis yes or no so what happens to s2 the answer the, to the best question will be s2 will be single single means you have a2 and p2 component right but you only see the a2 component yes or no S2 will be because there is a pulmonary stenosis, no? So pulmonary component will not be, you know, uh, 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 kind of it seen. So S2 will be single where you have a only A2, only A2 component is heard. That's what. And as aorta is anteriorly displaced, the single audible A2 is quite loud. The you know we say no overriding of aorta, overriding. So aorta is little anteriorly displaced in a case of tetralogy of palate. And remember, there is a single A2 sound. so can we take home take a take home message at home that in the s1 will be normal in the s2 will be a2 single uh, s2 sound will be there that is a2 wala sound and that will be quite loud that will be quite loud okay that you should know yes you are right savan is right p2 whatever that pulmonary stenosis component is there because of that the p2 is very soft or even inaudible also p2 is very soft and little inaudible also if you remember okay it's very easy i think there's no no much problem okay so 10 can tetralogy patient can a tof patient land up into failures five more minutes then this class is over can a tetralogy of phallate patient land up into failure like congestive cardiac failure or the back flow and this and that can a patient of the what <laughs> pancake is like five times is answering you are very right pancake tanu is right everyone is right nishi osama raguvansh savan remember the tetralogy of patients can never go into congestive cardiac failure why because the answer is the vsd the first line we wrote was the large vsd bar bar mai keh raha tha large vsd so there is a lot of difference okay saying a small vsd or kind of a or a kind of a kind of a large kind of a large vsd this is a large vsd bada bada vsd see whenever there is a large ventricular septal defect there is no pressure difference between the right ventricle and left ventricle pressure difference will be there when there is a very small vsd and people are want to rush from one side to another side the answer is the vsd of the tetralogy of phallate is always large enough to allow free exit of the blood from the right side to the left side so easily the blood which is coming on the right ventricle nicely it is going to the left ventricle there is no jumping or pushing or pulling or nothing like that that's why they you will not these patient will not go into failure if it was a small vsd it was a very small cute vsd then a lot of blood again over congestion over congestion on the right side then again a back pressure to right atrium back pressure to superior vena cava back pressure to my eyes So I'll get a periorbital swelling, facial puffiness, raised JVP, tender hepatomegaly, and all those things. So are you understanding? So large VSD will not create any problem because there is a there is a free flow of blood exit going from the right to the left. Yeah, exactly. Very good. 
Thanks, but what about injections to cholic murmur? Injections to cholic murmur will be there at the pulmonary area. That will be because of the pulmonary wall is because of the pulmonary stenosis component, not because of the VST. Okay, that you should know. And also, now this is a super speciality question. Super speciality question is num see number one question was can a tetralogy of fellow of patient can go into failure? The answer is no. They don't go into failure because VSD is quite big enough to compensate everything. Next question was that uh, what you called uh, what are the exceptions? exceptions where the patient can go into failure so exceptions are number one if the patient is having anemia if the patient is having infective endocarditis or the patient is having systemic hypertension these are the very importantly remember exceptions of what you called uh, of a top patient going into failure this was asked to me in my final year md exam in my final year md exam i was given a cvs case uh, it was my large case then short case was my cns case Large case was my CVS case and a newborn case was a permanent uh, case for any student. So they had asked me that can a top patient go into failure? I said no ma'am it can't go into failure. What are the exceptions? Where, uh, then they asked why the top patient can't go into failure? I said ma'am the VSD component is so large that the blood whichever it is coming from the to the right uh, atrium uh, sorry uh, right atrium then it goes to the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, the blood goes to the left ventricle. So that that the, it is, the VSD is so large that there is no pressure difference or there is no you know pull or push or kind of kind, any CCF issues will not come right because the VSD is quite large. And she is like, what are the exceptions? Uh, what you called? Uh, what are the exceptions? The answer is anemia, infective endocarditis, systemic hypertension, right ventricular dysfunction due to long-standing hypoxia, and aortic or tricuspid regurgitation. So these five points, remember my dear friends, my dear sweet, sweet, sweet friends, these five points are the exceptions where a top patient can go into failure. Anemia, infective endocarditis, systemic hypertension, RVH, uh, you know, dysfunction due to uh, long-standing hypoxia and aortic or tricuspid regurgitation. Okay, <laughs> Nishi Agarwal, our college is closed because of COVID. Yes, because of COVID, all the hospitals are closed because of COVID. That's right. Okay, I don't like pedia. Pan okay, Pancake is saying to Savan that I don't like Pedia. Okay, why you don't like Pedia? You're answering so well. Uh, apna kya kehte hai, pancake. Why you do not like uh, what you call liking the Pedia? Okay, very good, very good. Mm. <laughs> very nice. Aage hai, hai? So remember, okay, so that's this part is already over, over, uh, done, done, done. Okay, what are the clinical features? What are the clinical features of patient of tetralogy of palate will present? Imagine I have a, it's 5.57, okay. So, five more minutes. I'll ask my friend. It's 13 minutes. Okay. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Clubbing sinuses. Yes, yes, true, true, true. Bahut sare log bahut sare jawab de rahe Acha, agar mere ko, so if I have a right ventricular hypertrophy and if I have a ventricular septal defect, okay, all these problems, and I have a very small, very small pulmonary stenosis I have. So, what will you do? What will you do? Okay, okay. Doctor and caffeine says night shift gyne. Okay, you're in gyne. I agree with you. Which medical college you're working? Okay, so the clinical features are again. Okay, remember, please, guys, rem, uh, understanding no cramming business. I will shoot you with my gun if you cram. Patient at top ka top ka synotic. It is a synotic congenital heart. Will the patient have cyanosis? Yes, definitely, patient will have cyanosis. Will the patient, you know, kind of uh, having some breathlessness issues? Definitely, the patient will have breathlessness issues. And most importantly, yes, there is something known as TET spell. Very important. TET spell is a very important point, which we, you know, kind of understand in our this one. TET spell, yes or no? I'll tell you. Pancake, you have a gun. Yes, I have a gun. You want to see? Do you want to see the gun? Yes or no? Okay, number one, of course, the patient will have paroxysmal attacks of dyspnea. Yes, very because there's a cyanosis happening. The patient will be breathless. Mother gives a history. Mother gives a history that while feeding the child, by the, it's a very typical beautiful history. Mother gives a history, doctor, while I feed my baby. Number one, the baby becomes breathless. The baby becomes little tachypnic. The baby becomes little breathless or little, little tachypnic. Number one, the baby will have a forehead sweating. Yes or no? Diaphoresis. 
yes so the patient will have a, yeah uh, uh, exactly hmm. exactly while feeding the baby typical typical this is the see uh, many of you will be giving the next exam right so next is a totally new planet where where everything is clinical everything is you know very very clinical You'll like in front of the examiner only you'll be like starting and standing and taking the case so there the examiner will ask you because i will also might be an external examiner somewhere so i will be asking the child the student you know that what are the highlighters i'll be asking like why do you think this patient is having tetralogy of phthalate you will say sir number one the patient is having cyanosis i was like okay yeah cyanosis right what else what feeding pattern will change in a case of tetralogy of phthalate patient then you will answer sir actually what happens you no know, in tetralogy of phthalate sir the baby will feed the baby will feed the mother's breast but while feeding number 1 the baby will become tachypneic the baby will have a fast breathing number 2 the baby will have a forehead sweating also and then the baby will stop the feeding the baby will stop the feeding and then the baby will take a pause take a you know kind of a little pause and again the baby will suck the breast now this is known as can we appreciate something known as suck rest suck cycle yes or no this is a very important 5 marks question for mbbs student okay so who wants that i should be an external examiner in your hospital what do you think do you want me to be your external examiner in your hospital what do you think so yes so exactly so it is known as suck rest suck cycle very important the baby suck the breast get tachypneic get, get breathless have a sweating and again you know he take a rest and again he suck the breast this is known as suck rest suck cycle that you should know okay acha kuch baat hi ho rahi hai kya ho raha hai okay you work in nayar hospital uh, mumbai okay that's nice gmc shrinagar very good shrinagar mein i have my one of very uh, favorite juniors his name is anurag vaid he is from jammu and vamik also vamik vani is also in shrinagar one of my very good juniors okay i love strawberries i also love strawberries i love strawberry milkshake and you know i love why i love strawberry because strawberry like uh, has this taste of cough syrup i don't know why so usme cough syrup ki ek wo tinge hota hai i like strawberry exactly okay hmm ओके संधू सेठ सर हाफ कॉन्फिडेंस तो आपको देखकर ही आ जाएगा दैट्स वेरी ट्रू दैट्स वेरी ट्रू यू नो व्हाट हैपेंस यू नो दैट्स व्हाट यू नो आई थिंक अ टीचर अ गुड टीचर यू नो विल बी द वन हु हु विल एबल हु इज एबल टू टेक द स्टूडेंट टुवर्ड्स द फाइनल डायग्नोसिस हु कैन यू नो ही विल गिव यू हिंट वन बाय वन वन बाय वन वन बाय वन एंड इट विल टेक यू टू द फाइनल डायग्नोसिस दिस वन काइंड ऑफ अ टीचर वन टीचर विल बी देयर वेयर ही विल लाइक यू डोंट यू डोंट नो दिस आल्सो this also you don't know okay oh ho first year second year mbbs so you will waste your parents money i am very sure you will waste your parents money you don't know this also you you are a final year you should go back to first year madam what is this in pa like that in our hospital this okay thank you you're from skims uh, shrinagar nice sasta nasha hai ye <laughs> okay चलो जी आ, क्या कहते हैं वन सेकेंड या आई थिंक वी विल व्हाट यू कॉल्ड एंड अप हेयर ओनली बिकॉज आई हैव टू गो जिम आल्सो दैट्स व्हाई इन द फर्दर सेगमेंट्स वी गोन टॉक अबाउट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली व्हाट इज साइनोटिक स्पेल वी हैव अ क्लास वी हैव अ क्लास एट 8:30 थर्टी पी एम वेयर वी गोना टॉक अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ साइनोटिक स्पेल वॉट हैपन्स इन साइनोटिक स्पेल्स वॉट इज द स्पाजम बेसिकली वॉट इज द इशू हैपन्स when do you see clubbing in a case of tetralogy of phthalate and most importantly the treatment for cyanotic spells will be dealt in the next class today 8:30 uh, <laughs> pancake you're so funny you're so funny you have no idea you're like me only i am also sometimes funny and then we'll talk about complications so treatment complications of tetralogy of phthalate neurological complication tetralogy of phthalate surgical option of choice this bt shunt water shunt shunt everything will be dealt in the 8:30 class and 8:30 class only i will give you the homework so after pancake we have a rashi rastogi who is so happy with the uh, what do you called homework wala session very good before going before going we have this uh, what do you called uh, amazing quote uh, kya kehte hain jo kya kehti hai kya kehti hai quote this quote says if you want to buy things if you want to buy things without having a look at the price if you want to buy things Uh, without having look at the price then work without having a look at the clock okay if you want to buy things without having a look at the price then work without having a look at the clock 
so means moral of the story is work hard be amazing be strong and i i all always had this policy you know eat good you know smell good and be good and wear good clothes i always have this i i never want to smell bad i never want to look bad and i and i never want to wear bad clothes even in you know in the evening also at my home i'll be wearing the best of the best t-shirt with a good fit with a smart fit you know my mom is like why do you why are you wearing this t-shirt you should wear this t-shirt on some friend's wedding or you know if you go out i was like dude every day is a new day every day is a beautiful day kal kisne dekha and you don't you don't uh, wear clothes to impress people right you should not wear clothes to impress people you should wear clothes to to feel good and to impress yourself we always uh, i i i feel sometimes that you know we we end up uh, loving us less and loving the other people more you know we 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 end up loving other people more we end up impressing other people more we end up impressing the crowd but we don't impress ourselves we don't appreciate ourselves we don't love ourselves i think uh, self love plays a very important role okay so that's it and thank you so much uh, yes i have wore a lungi i have my dad is also having and uh, i am i have done my pg from ug bangalore ye kuch nahi khana bas kar raha hu i have done my uh, ug from bangalore uh, from karnataka so done ke kannada go to also and uh, yes that theek hai chalo bye 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 okay haan ji baaki baatein raat ko 8:30 baje take care it's 6 6 i only have 20 minutes left thank you so much everyone have a wonderful time ahead please come 8:30 tonight and we'll chat